Hi, Lucy. Hey, baby girl, what's up? I'm good, how are you? I'm okay, but there's something I want to talk to you about. That sounds serious, what's up? Well, you know, we've been training for quite a while now, and I've done bodybuilding, I've been uh, five times five, I'm strong with now, I don't know if I'm getting stronger, I don't know if I'm building enough muscle. I mean, you're much bigger than me, but some lifts are stronger for me, and well, should I work on that, or is this normal, or am I in a good program, or, you know? <laughs> you're just all over the place, Lucy. Like, you want to do everything at the same time. <laughs> So maybe we should we we should just start at the beginning here and look at your goals. Yeah, please help me there. <laughs> so let's just go to the whiteboard and have a look at what programs they are and how you choose one. The first question you should ask yourself is what are your goals? Like what are you training for? Are you training for endurance or for strength, like powerlifting? Are you training for muscle size or aesthetics, meaning more bodybuilding? Or do you want to have both strengths and muscle? Or are you just training for fat loss? Or maybe you want to improve a certain lift, like a squat or your bench press. Or maybe your deadlifts. The next thing you need to ask yourself is, what's your experience level? So, are you a beginner, meaning you've trained for less than a year? Are you an intermediate, which is usually between two or three years? or are you already at an advanced level? If you've answered those two questions, then we can choose a program for you. If you want to train for endurance and you're a beginner, then just look for programs like running your first 5k or starting swimming. If you're an intermediate, then maybe you have a look for programs for a half marathon or even a marathon. And you can just Google those and find them on the internet. If you're training for strength and you're a beginner, you should start with a linear program. So you should have a look at starting strength or strong lifts or a Candido's linear program. If you're an intermediate lifter, you probably cannot make gains anymore from week to week, so you need a more advanced program. Possible programs here are MADCO 5x5s, um, the Texas method, or for example, Candido's six week program. So what if you want to train for muscle size or aesthetics? If you're a beginner, you can probably make the most gains if you train your full body in every workout. Just do that two or three times a week. If you're an intermediate lifter, you probably need to use a body split, meaning you'll have a leg day, a day for chest and biceps, and a day for shoulders and triceps, or whatever you prefer. The next goal you can train for is improving a certain lift. These programs are usually pretty intense and shouldn't be done by beginners and probably not even by intermediate lifters, but rather by advanced ones. Because you need to have really good form for them. The programs you can use here are the small of cycle for squats, the small of junior cycle for bench press, and for deadlifts there are programs written, for example, by Cohen Filippi. Another very common goal is fat loss, and a lot of people think you need to use a special program for that, but that's not true. You can use any of the programs we mentioned so far, just not the very advanced ones. Just expect less gains, you might need to drop your weights, and you might need to add a little more cardio for into it too, but otherwise just use the same ones. Nowadays there's also a lot of people who want to train for strength and look good at the same time. If you're a beginner, you can probably just use the linear program, like starting strength or the strong lifts, and add a couple of bodybuilding exercises at the end. If you're an intermediate lifter, there are special programs for that, and examples are Fat Ballet Norton, there's the Cube Method, Westside Bubble has their own program, or there's also, for example, the Hebron Method. So, I want to do powerlifting, because I really love the lifts, but I also want to grow bigger muscles. And does it help each other or what, can, it, can that be done? Well, if you have bigger muscles, you're probably also stronger, because bigger muscles means that you have larger muscle fibers and those can produce more force, so 
they somehow work together, so it makes sense to have bigger muscles if you want to get stronger. Yeah, I think I think that makes sense. So, okay, so you want to do like a power building program, so you want to have strength and muscle size, right? Yeah, I, w I would like to combine them. I want to put the focus on strength, but I love building the muscle. Okay. So then we need to know, are you still a, a beginner, like are you still making beginner gains or are you already an intermediate or advanced lifter? I really have no idea. How do I know? How do I tell? <laughs> I, I think I'm still a beginner, but maybe some stuff, maybe I'm at fault. Yeah. Well, well, you did the linear program before, right? I, I did, I did the 5x5 five five, and... Um, yeah. I did Candido's six week program. Yeah. And I got stuck at the five times five with like overhead press and the bench and yeah, I grew out of that one. Yeah. So usually if you don't make gains anymore in a linear program, that means that you're out of the, of the beginner gains. That means that you're already an intermediate lifter and need to look into more advanced programs. And the, the Candido six weeks program is one of those advanced programs, but it's rather focused on strength than there's no bodybuilding involved in it. But, it. but if you're still unsure whether you're a beginner or an intermediate lifter, you can also have a look at charts and see. Okay. Well, the, so there's the, your body uh, size, so like your body weight, and then there's the lifts that you should be able to do at a beginner or intermediate or advanced level. Okay, so that makes sense. But looking at this, we both are in the intermediate or advanced level already. So then we need to have a look at what programs, like an intermediate, advanced, power building programs there are and what the differences are to decide which one, which one we want to do, right? Yes, yes, I agree. So let's go back to the whiteboard here and have a look at the different power building programs we can do. The first one is fed by Lane Norton. It's five days per week, two of them are strength um, and two and the others are hypertrophy. The next one is the Westside Barbell program, which is four days per week. Two of them are strength, one is hypertrophy and the other one is a dynamic day, meaning a lot of jumping. The next one is the power muscle burn program, which is also four days per week. And each day includes a power, muscle and burn component. Power means 3 to 5 reps, muscle means 6 to 12 reps, and burn means 40 reps to burn your muscle out. The next method is the hat burn method, which is also 4 days per week. And it has a squat and bench day, and a deadlift and overhead press day. And it continually increases reps from 8 times 2 to 8 times 3. And then the last one is the cube method, which is also four days per week. And it has one strength day, one rep day, one explosive day, and then a bodybuilding day. And it's a 10 week cycle. And after those 10 weeks, you should uh, try out your maxes again. A lot of stuff you can do. Um, and I want to go for strength and size. Have you decided what to do yet? Uh, so I want to focus on strength and a little bit of powerlifting too because um, I mainly want to increase my strength but I like the bodybuilding and the pump as well. So I think I'm going to go for the cube method because this is mainly focused on the powerlifting moves but it, then it also has this one bodybuilding day in which I think is going to be fun. And that's exactly what I'm looking for, mainly focusing on the powerlifts but also doing yes. some building. So maybe we can just do that together and try it out and see what gains we can make with it. I actually think that's a great idea. Let's do that. I love, I love to do that. Sounds good. Cool. Okay. So thank you very much for explaining this. I knew I could count on you. So we're gonna go for the cube method, but um, if you want to do a different program or if you just want to have more information about it, have a look at our article too. There are the links to all the programs so you can look them all up. 
and read more about them. And then also don't forget to like and subscribe on our channel. We post a video every Wednesday and um, like this one. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thank you for watching and see you next time.